So on this example, when you're trying to do a rubber pencil, um, what we're going to do, Anna, is looking at this and we say, all right, um, we could do this problem, ladies and gentlemen. We can multiply. One thing we need to make sure that we understand is how do we multiply radicals? Remember, we can multiply the numbers in front. We know that we can only combine radicals. We can only combine them when they have the same variable factors. However, when you guys are looking at this, if I say the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, what we're actually doing is we're actually multiplying inside the radical. So that equals the square root of 3 squared. You're actually multiplying 3 times 3. So one thing you could do is, ladies and gentlemen, you could do 12 times 20, which would be the square root of 240. But do you guys really want to try simplifying the square root of 240? No. No, I probably won't want to do it either, OK? So one thing you guys can do is look at these problems and say, all right, can I simplify these at all? All right, so we look at this. Can we simplify the square root of 12? Yes, we can reduce that down to what? 4 times 3. And then can we reduce the square root of 20? Very good. Now, now that I've multiplied these, now what I do is I say, all right, the square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 times 3 square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 5. Notice how I'm still multiplying by the 4 and the 3. It's still 4 times 2 and 3 times um, that 2, which is right there. So I'm still multiplying by this 4 and 3. So therefore, 4 times 2 is 8, square root of 3, times um, 6, square root of 5. Okay. So now we have it simplified, right? Now we simplify our radicals as much as possible. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys need to understand is square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 3 squared. The square root of 3 times the square root of 4 equals the square root of 12. So when you're multiplying, you can have different radical roots or radicands, but you just multiply them. So here, I'm going to have square root of 3 times 5, which is going to be the square root of 15. And then you do 8 times 6, which is 48 square root of 15. And then we look at our answer. Can I simplify the square root of 15? Where'd you get like 8 times 6 is 48. Oh, okay. So you just multiply the numbers. So you always times them two like the first one? Yep, you always multiply your numbers. And then just multiply the numbers inside the square roots. All right, I'll just do one more example. Then I'll